guys, Double here, and let's do the Great Maze. Uh, let's see, Rob Gaming Watch, Pits, and I guess the Cario. So yeah, we have about two more cutscenes, I believe, left of this entire game. So this is your main hub area, basically. This thing will let you do stickers, save, uh, change your character, go back to the map, and you can actually see a map. Uh, if you see a door like this, that means you have a boss to fight, which let's go in. Now boss could be either what we're about to fight, an actual boss from the game, just re-put back here, or it could be a character in uh, subspace form, which we fought uh, before we fought Subspace Peach, Subspace Zelda twice, um, what else have we fought? Subspace Giant Diddy. Yeah, so pretty much all that's left besides the, uh, um, final boss is just us beating up all the characters and bosses. I don't know what that symbol Rob has. Where's it come from? Like I know Game and Watches is uh Game and Watch. So yeah, beat PD. Cool. I can hear the audio is working. So this is what you'll get. This kind of door. Right here always brings you back to that main hub. This door will bring you to another area. The Great Maze is basically just all the levels put into kind of mixed all into one. I'm gonna say this is either Pit or Mario. Usually, yep, see, uh, usually you'll know who you're gonna be fighting because of what area you're in, because it's usually where you first saw them. Well, first, because that doesn't always work, because obviously we fought Petey there, not Mario and Kirby. And these guys, I believe, on normal, have the intelligence of a level 5. Not sure on that, though. Which I'm playing on normal, obviously. So sometimes when you beat characters, uh, you'll go through their door, which can either bring you to where you need to go or to just bonus areas, or sometimes it will just end and that'll be all. I think this is just a bonus area, I'm not sure though. But anyway, I have a few updates to give you, yep, that was right, but I have a few updates to give, and... Basically, these are revolving what's happening after Brawl. Brawl, I'm saying, is going to be about four or five more episodes. Because I, I think the Great Maze is going to take three. Three or four. And then, um... No, I didn't want to go through there. Then, uh, what's it called? Uh, the... Showing the hidden characters. Ugh, almost died there. The hidden characters. I'll just put into one episode, so that'll take one. So whenever I beat the boss, you guys know there's one more episode coming. And actually, if there's anything else important for subspace, um. I'll probably give it an episode later. Rare grief, I think. I'm starting to learn the enemy's names. You know what? Skip. <laughs> also, like, um, when we go through these doors, like, I was about to say, say it's Link or Kirby or something. That could mean it's just gonna bring us to them because sometimes why didn't he take his power? Because sometimes, um these doors will actually lead us to new areas and sometimes you're actually able because this it does go around full circle 
So sometimes you'll be able to get at them from different ways. I'll show you the map uh, once we finish. Or once we get all the areas or something. As soon as we get back to one of those areas, I'm switching characters. That's one sort of cheap thing. You get all your characters, well, all your lives back if you switch characters. Even if, like, I just do Pit, Lucario, Rob, Game & Watch. Which probably will be my main team, maybe with a few switch-ins, like adding Snake or Wario. I was just for laughs gonna, um, after that huge deal we made about Ganondorf sucking last episode, I was gonna just sort of play as Ganon. But okay, I need to go back to those updates that I was saying. So, after Brawl, um, oh, see, there's just a, there's an example of just a dead end one. Something I forgot to mention about Lucario, too, is his uh, Aura Sphere, when he has higher damage, it actually can charge further, meaning it can do more damage, but, okay, back on topic, as David would say. Yeah, I would just fall back down. Okay, updates. So, no, don't! After Brawl finishes, I'm gonna say, I'm, whoa, here's Link. I'm gonna take about a, m I shouldn't have done this battle. I'm gonna take about a month off from Let's Playing. Then, as I've shown on Twitter, I have two clues at the time of recording. Probably the third will be up. For my next LP, which you guys will get in a month from now, which obviously I'm not revealing, and that I think will be a short game. I have one more short game planned uh, for this year, and then I'm basically taking a break for however long is left in the year. I think I'm gonna put it out evenly so like this is a September LP or something uh, next one will be like end of October November and then we'll have November December or something cuz I just want a little bit of a break cuz LPing is tough keeping up on and stuff so let me just show you the trick thingy. And yeah, sometimes you won't get main doors, you'll just get this. Which, all you can do is save and change your characters. Uh, let's do Wario, Lucario, Snake, and uh, Bowser. I'm okay as Bowser. Some of these characters you'll be sitting... Uh, for Wario and Bowser, you'll be seeing me play as him for the first time. But, yeah, I just kind of need a break. So, both games that I have planned for the rest of the year really aren't going to turn around. Really aren't going to even take... Probably less editing than Brawl even, because Brawl's a loud game, so... And... It is. Try playing Brawl, you're... Go and then any other Wii, PS3, 360, whatever game. You're gonna need to change the volume once Brawl's done. But yeah, the others. Oh no, one should be finished in a week, one of them. And one of them should be a little longer, I don't know how long. 
Uh, both are one player games though, so I can't have Matthew22381 have epic cameos of epicness. I believe you just have to break those, then go back. I think. Yeah. Then we need to go back to kill a subspace monster. Don't know if it's a boss or if it's a character. No! <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much how the rest of the year is going to be going for me then. Uh, afterwards, January, February, I should be coming with Yoshi. I should be coming back to how I normally am. I, I still have a few more Let's Plays I have planned for you guys, including two that actually I debated doing before Brawl, but deemed that no, I should not for both of them. One of them I haven't beaten yet. One of them I just didn't want to because my brother immediately got that or thought that game would be next. So I'm like, uh, okay, no. I'm not doing that game because he won't have the fun of guessing. Wario's kind of short though, so he can't, like, he can't hit Yoshi up there. Like, Rob could have hit Yoshi. Come on, Wario. Jeff, okay, he was just a regular sauce monster. Ugh. I'm trying to fix how I'm sitting because it's kind of uncomfortable. Other random updates, my original DS, that was actually the first... Wow. First DS I ever owned! And yes, I mean an original DS fat thingy... Finally broke! Oh, what? Don't tell me they always have those things. Yeah, not a light, not an eye, and don't worry, not my 3DS. One cool thing about these levels, though, is I'm never gonna have to get interrupted with cutscenes, I just realized. I'm gonna get a buck or Never mind. I have no I oh, Super Paper Mario's Peach! Peach! Oh, Subspace Monster. When there's a huge purpley area around it, I think that always means you're gonna be transported somewhere else. Something annoying about Diddy, sometimes he's just gonna shoot his peanut pop gun. Like this subspace ditty. I don't even know if they're subspace actually, because the other subspace guys are purple, but these are weird lime greeny yellow. They change color. But he's just gonna shoot his peanuts and then eat them. Okay, that was kinda obvious. Actually, I don't even know if he would be level 5, which I feel really bad if they're not level 5, because. I think Yoshi's the only one so far that I haven't done on. I think they may be level threes actually, because Easy I'm pretty sure is level two. I don't think you ever fight. Yeah, I didn't die on Diddy. I don't think you ever fight level one based enemies. Oh, I'm gonna go over here to show you guys something. But I don't think you ever fight level 1 based enemies in subspace. So, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is go down here. 
And avoid these guys. Beat this boss. Well, you have to beat everyone anyway. But this boss, which is Samus. I don't know why Samus is here. Unless I'm thinking of a different place. Ironically, Samus and uh, Snake are both kind of similar characters, I find. I think it's because they're both kind of outcasts. Like, Samus, um, is a human and I believe originally was adopted by aliens or something. Oh, another metal box. How many metal boxes are there? I can't get me. And also, something I posted on Twitter that since Brawl started so far, it's been the only video going on up on my channel. Okay, this isn't what I'm thinking of. I really want to show you guys what I'm thinking of, so I'm going to have to come back here later. Unless there's two different areas. Like, Okay, it must be this door. Yeah, so don't miss this one. DK! Donkey Kong! One thing kind of weird about... Uh, characters is generally I suck as characters who's upbeat <sighs> who I mean I'm good as characters who's gen who generally their upbees do nothing like snakes his upbeat does no I didn't want to do that <laughs> he actually got hit. but snakes upbeat that does nothing that does no damage whatsoever sure there's ways to like Nope, guess not. Also, in case you didn't notice, uh, the music's always related to the character. So this is where you fit the final boss, but it also has all the trophies you still have left to fight. So it's very useful, very useful if you uh, want to know who you haven't fought yet. You're going to want to come in here. And every once in a while, if you're ever lost, just check in there. So yeah, now it will be a big purple arrow saying, yes, this is where the final boss is. And actually, on the map, you'll actually be able to select this area as your starting area now. There's a few areas that you can do that. I think they're always some something important. Like that one I told you is where the final boss is. Which isn't really a spoiler, it's just like, yeah, that's where the final boss is. So kind of... I didn't even see a keyhole! Okay, I'm just trying to kill everyone here. Whoa! Hey, better, 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 Okay, didn't even need a key. Pikachu! So you're finally gonna get to see me play as Bowser. B -b Bowser. Sorry for sounding like I'm button mashing, but that's kind of the easiest way to take these guys out. Button mash. Why did he even try that? I like Bowser's. So I believe, except for Ganon, you've now seen me play as every character I've unlocked, so I'm going to have to play as Ganon at some point. Yeah, just die, please. So, somewhere up here. By the way, to run, in case you don't know, you just double tap. Whatever direction, however, I don't even know if you can. Oh, there's the lock gate. However, I don't even know if you can run on those things. I'm gonna get off of that. Okay, Bowser time. Oh, yay! I can recharge, so I'm gonna choose Ganon, even though he sucks, just so you guys can see me play as him. Actually, I don't think I've played as Ness. So, where is he, Ganon? Oh, 
just in case. I'll pick Ness. Also, Luigi and Peach. Oh no, I've played as Peach. I remember. Oh well, I know Ganon. Actually, it would be Luigi who didn't see me play as. <laughs> Which Ganondorf had huge controversy in melee over just being a clone of Captain Falcon, but I don't think he is as much of a Falcon clone in this game. So remember this puzzle? Find the switches to open the door? Yeah. Pretty much any puzzle they brought back, or any puzzle is that was in the main game is in well, this is still the main game, but I mean, like, the levels, it's going to be in the Great Maze. I believe every one of these areas right by the switch has a subspace monster rob. I guess this would be where he would be. I still want to know where that symbol came from. That was way too easy. Also, why is Ganon's sword not making an appearance except for his... no, nope, wrong taunt. Down taunt. Like, really, a character with a sword? Well, I guess that's kind of overdone in the series. Super Smash Brothers series with Link using a sword, uh, Marth, Roy, and Ike using a sword, um, let's use a sword. There's a few technical people, like, I believe Sheik technically uses a sword. Whoa! Calm down, people! I hate these guys that just clone themselves. I'm looking for a key. Actually, I'm doing pretty well as Ganondorf. Well, I said that I'm gonna die, but. <sighs> yep. I actually did pretty well as Ganon there. For someone who sucks. Yep, agreed by two people. And Ness, I don't think sucks. I just think it's hard to control. Especially as a uh, B. That's why I don't like the Lucas clone. Which I guess I'm gonna keep calling Lucas a clone, since that is what Lucas is. Oh yeah, really? I could have used that as Ganon. So I guess this one doesn't have a locked door, or subspace monster door. And I wish you could switch, because I'm okay as Luigi, but suck as Ness. Whoa, Ridley! Wasn't actually expecting a boss. Like an actual boss. Okay, I'm gonna call these guys bosses and the other subspace monsters, okay? I should just PK Thunder. Because he's he's flying. Electric super effective. And despite what I asked Matthew in that video, I think the Star Rod is the one from Kirby, not from Paper Mario. You know what? Smoke Bomb! Even though in Star Fox, I don't believe it ever is called a Smart Bomb. Or I'm just an idiot and never noticed that. Because the most recent one up until this point would be 64, the original 64. And it was not called that in the original 64. I've never played the original Star Fox, though. So I don't know. And the reason I have to say original 64 is because of Star Fox 64 3D. Whoa! This is one of your starting points. Basically, whenever there's a main door. Like main one of these. So next time on 
and you can warp to them. But next time on Super Smash Brothers Brawl, we will continue and look at all those areas we've already unlocked. See you next time.